What's up? <clears throat> got another shoe video for y'all. Um, actually got in. Two pairs, but I don't know which one I want to do the video on today. Um, this one is a pretty hyped. Uh, it feels a little heavy to be actually what it is, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, but uh, if we don't do, I'm fixing the side. This one or this one. This one's really hyped right now, but this one is like a potential early review. Um, I've not seen this out in any stores. It don't even have a release date whenever you look it up. So let's just go with this one. Um, when this one releases, um, it's going to be some issues trying to get it. And it's not going to be a sneakers app, a shoe. Um, this is going to be something you're going to have to put in footwork to get. So be prepared. I was hitting on it on a website. It's going to be slim to none unless Nike, the regular Nike site releases them. And you might have a chance on that. But this came from uh, StockX. If y'all can see that top thing up there, but that StockX, I scratched out my address and stuff, and uh, I like this stuff, but um, yeah, um, I heard some people say something about the uh, that StockX was putting on the, the packing slips of what was in the actual uh, box or whatever, and I don't know, man, I forgot to scratch off a number on here. But I'll show you all the rest of it here. Let me just get this number scratched off. All right. Only thing I've scratched off this label is my personal address and another part of, well, another, just my personal address, basically. But, Nowhere's on this does it say a description of what's in this box. Um, I just wanted to point that out that there's people posting some stuff on Twitter saying that there's labels on the boxes and that the, the delivery guys will be able to tell what's in it and that's how packages are getting stolen because they're reading what's in it. The only way it's going to get stolen is if it's from like, you know, somebody doing something crazy inside the warehouses at the postal places. So, other than that, like, once it reaches, you know, like, StockX is not doing something, and that would take, you know, just them knowing that, it, you know, they might see this address and know that that's StockX. Other than that, the the postal workers, whether it's FedEx, UPS, US, USPS, um, none of them is going to be able to tell by the box and any packing slip on the box of what is ex what you know what she was exactly in that package so therefore you know you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff all right let's jump on to the shoot as y'all can tell we got a jordan one low slash mid box uh label reads air jordan one low white uh dk powdered blue slash obsidian Size 11, USD 100. Let's get them out and check them out. As y'all can tell, there's StockX tag. Boop. Let's see here. About forgot. There's StockX slip. Boom. StockX paper. Boom. Boom. I like good stuff. We got the 23 paper. Y'all can tell. And yeah, this this shoe right here. Oh yeah. This shoe's gonna be an issue. Uh and there's a mid coming out that looks awesome too. And I just scrolled up on these just out of the blue and saw them. And these are gonna really go up. We got the UNC or Obsidian Jordan 1 Lows that are hasn't even released yet. They don't have a release date yet. Um, it just says they're coming out this year, so uh, whenever I saw them and they was going for 
like highest bid was like 170 and I put it in a bid for like 155 or see what was my my no 160 so I put in a bid for 160 and just to get them in to check them out to see like you know if I have if I do get a chance to get access to a lot of these am I going to want to go hard on them or not and I'm telling y'all right now like for a Jordan 1 low these are going to do good um you got this like you know kind of UNC baby blue up here and on the bottom it's the same color as the sole is on the side and then a white toe box white right here and here and a white midsole and then right here we got a suede obsidian blue swoosh the uh the embroidering is done in the obsidian blue the tongue, you got obsidian blue tongue with a UNC or baby blue um, or powdered blue, I guess that's what they're calling it. Uh, Jumpman logo, you got the 23 right here in obsidian. Um, the inside, the inside walls are obsidian blue, and then the inside of the solar is that powdered blue or whatever you want to call it. Um, I think this is a very, very nice Jordan 1 low. Um, the materials feel pretty good on these so uh, I can see these actually doing good um, so yeah if you get a chance to get these I highly suggest it because um, like I said a Jordan 1 low like this that's got this color blocking these do really really good um, you know even though I paid 195 like I know I, I could still make money off this shoe if I just sit on it so like I said, uh, that's if they don't hit the feet, because, uh, yeah, I might be rocking these on feet for the summer, just, you know, they ain't released yet, so, you know, what, why not, you know what I mean, why not, but, uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please drop a sub, like, comment, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff, we're gonna go ahead and pull out the other shoe to give y'all a little side-by-side -side look without this stock X tag flapping everywhere, and, uh, let you guys, oh yeah, they got obsidian blue shoelaces too. Um, but here's the shoes side by side. Some people kind of like to see what that that view because that's kind of how it's going to look when you're looking down at the shoe. From you know if, if you got them on feet, that's what it's going to look like when you look down. Comment below, what do y'all think on these? Would y'all uh, cop, drop, or uh, see here, flip, drip, or skip? Comment below, let me know what y'all would do. And uh, what do y'all think on these? Y'all like them? Uh, what do y'all think they're gonna do as far as resale? Y'all gonna think they're gonna flop? Or are they gonna uh, hit some numbers? Me personally, any Jordan way, colorway that's been in any kind of UNC, even style blue, like uh, for example, these. People would like these, but they just had too much white and not enough blue on them. But these right here is hitting for like, I think, two or 225 on lowest ask. And that's a Jordan 1 mid. And you tell me this shoe right here, this shoe, it's not going to do good. It, it's going to do numbers. It's going to do numbers, y'all. But like I said, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please drop a sub, like, comment, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. And the next video will be this. I guess you could say it's a hot sneaker. As far as you can put it in a category, as far as t-shirts or shoes or pants, you know. But is it a sneaker like this? Or just something that we sell in the sneaker community? Stay tuned for the next video. Hope y'all enjoyed this one. Much love and peace out.